on my camo water coolers I did. Just It's just freehand spray painting. So now, and I, I should have took some before shots because, you know, that was orange and this was a, a bright blue and people thought when they saw it at my campsite that I had a big post office mailbox there. But no, it was my, my water cooler and that's, that's my other water cooler. So now I'm going to do the same thing to my regular ice chest. Okay. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to start by roughing it up. I tried taking that crappy decal off. It's been there. I've had this for, God, can't remember when I bought it. A long time ago. Don't make them anymore. And we're going to rough it up. This has a real rough texture anyway, but I don't think it'll hurt to make it a little rougher. I don't want to smooth it out, but this this is a 220 grid. No particular reason why I picked it, but it was already on the sanding machine. So I'm just going to rough it up a little bit, especially the real smooth spots like that. extra space for product plus I put a seal around it just just weather sealing you put around the door and, uh, and it's moved around over here fix that but once you put this latch down and then hard latch it it, it, it makes a really great seal and and you got a tight seal on this sucker. Before I was bungee wrapping it and that wasn't the greatest thing. But anyway, I'm going to wipe this down with water and dry it off and then I'll spray paint it. forest green or just a forest green this that's that's sort of darker but i like this lighter green better of course it doesn't say anything on the can it just says it the light green top But 
Vale. Ja. When I was a child, back in the 60s, we would paint our models. My brother was a big fan of Nazi uh, airplanes. And he'd always paint them camo when he's done. I was always so envious of his his ability to, to paint camo. here, at least from my perspective. Now this is the sand, the sand one. Now when I do black, it's so dominant. Then I go back over it with another, <laughs> the other colors just to kind of to get rid of it because it's just, it's too black. So I can, from my perspective, I can see where you can see the orange at, the, at an angle. So. So probably what I'll do after this dries, I'll turn it on the side and try to touch up. Because if you look under the underneath the letters, you know I can still see orange under there and under there. But I'll touch all that up later. And I also thought about like doing a base coat of, of the dark of the dark green and then do my my uh, camo. But this works just as good. Think about the white, you can kind of let that stay in there and it, it actually kind of looks good. I don't, do I don't use enough of the sand for some reason. I use that green a lot, I guess because I like it.
This side stuff dries really fast. I'll go back and, like I say, touch all this stuff up, fill in. I need some black. Like I say, I like my, where's the black at? I love the dark green. <laughs> I'm not using that thing. black on the top. I say I'm making little, you know, seeds is what I'm making, trying to do little swirls. We've got to dull down that black.
Okay. There you go. I mean, once it dries, I'll need to you know cover up all these orange spots. And thinking, you know, I can use more a little more black in there. But that's your. Like I said, that's my first coating there. Good, use a little bit. Nah, well, I see in the camera, it looks like there's more black in it, but from the naked eye, it doesn't look as black. But there you go. I came out another in my ice chest. And like I said, that dries really fast, so I'll be able to spray this again a little later this evening. It really makes those letters stick out, that's for sure. Because I'll probably turn it upside down, and that'll really show up the everything I missed that's still orange or whatever color. I think it was red originally, maybe, but that's kind of orange. Well, I believe I've gotten all the red spots out now. I did see one down here. Now, this is a little bit of little red there inside there and a little bit of red there. But overall, I think it looks up oh, look, a little bit of red there. And I just painted the bottom black. But I think it looks marvelous. And there's my other coolers as well. So I think that's all the camoing I have to do for now. Until I find something else. 